Now, as the Omicron variant continues to spread, the list of schools going to remote learning is growing. For many students, parents and teachers, it's a sense of deja vu, but some lessons have been learned. Trey Francis reports on the adjustments as some schools pivot to remote learning. You know, it's easier to focus on learning when you're in a learning environment. It's different when you're at home, you have your television here, your refrigerator, here, your toys, you know, so that can be hard on children in a lot of ways. Brianna Spriggs, licensed professional counselor supervisor at Acadiana Family Tree Counseling and Education Center, says learning at home can be challenging for children. I would suggest that the parish reach out to people who've already been doing it and to say, okay, what's y'all structure? Can we have some kind of connection or, you know, a contract to, to kind of um, utilize some of the ways that they structure online learning? Although virtual learning has been around for almost two years, educators say it's still not ideal. It's a well-known fact that students learn better in the classroom with a teacher. St. Martin Parish Superintendent Alan Blanchard says some schools have had no choice but to switch to virtual learning with faculty out on quarantine. Students all have their devices, which they, you know, at all of our schools, they're bringing the devices home every day uh, just to make sure if we have some, some emergency or something, you know, they have them and are prepared to, to learn. Social development is just as important as intellectual development, if not more. In St. Martin Paris, Trey Francis, KTC, TV3.